Sinners and Saints is TJ, the Motor Sage. I'm sitting here and thinking about going for a ride today. Let me just get out of the house. But uh, in the midst of all of it, I'm thinking about uh, a whole bunch of things. And uh, one of them is Traveling Mercies. See, Traveling Mercies is a phrase I picked up. Oh, a couple of years back, my wife and I went to an Assembly of God church in Warren, Pennsylvania. And uh, we go on Sunday night. They'd have a hymn sing. And oh, they'd have some uh, old-fashioned Lutheran hymns. They'd have old-fashioned Methodist hymns. They'd have old-fashioned hymns in general. Some of them were theologically shaky, and some of them were just absolutely sweet. In any cases, whenever somebody left town and went on a trip, they'd pray for them. They'd pray, pray for safe travels out and safe travels back. And in doing so, they'd ask God for what they call traveling mercies. Traveling mercies is something that uh, Mary and Joseph needed as they left home and ran off to Egypt because they were told that uh, the life of Jesus as a young child was in danger. I'd like to talk to you a bit about that today, so uh, stay with me. thinking about a lot of things uh, this week. One of the things I've uh, been contemplating is the whole idea of traveling and uh, the travels that Joseph and Mary made with Jesus way back when. They were warned by uh, a messenger from God, an angel, to uh, get out of town, kind of like I did this morning.
Pierre did send his uh, military troops. And uh, there's been quite a bit of conversation about those people called the Holy Innocents, those children that were slaughtered by uh, by Herod's people. Some say, well, they are innocent, and therefore they uh, went straight to heaven. Because they died in place of Jesus. The difference is faith. So for instance, the question is, can a child have faith? The answer, as far as I'm concerned, is yes, a child can have faith as is evidenced by John the Baptist kicking the womb in the womb when Mary, pregnant with Jesus, met with his mother, Elizabeth. But were, but were the people, were the children slaughtered after Jesus left? Would they go to heaven? They weren't baptized, they weren't Christian, so they were contaminated with a human condition called original sin. Now we might say because they weren't baptized, what about all the other children who die before they can be baptized? Well, Catholic Church has come out with uh, a uh, policy called prevenient grace, meaning that God loves children. Jesus loved children. So therefore, retroactively, those children that died because of his presence amongst them would be saved. Well, that's the theological opinion and uh, carries a lot of weight. But we just can't be sure. We can't be sure that a child that would die without baptism in today's world would be saved unless a child been baptized. You see, a child is baptized that child has faith because it's given to them at baptism by the power of the Holy Spirit. So that's just some of the things that I've been tossing around today in my driving back and forth. I'm headed back towards home now. There's a nice uh, Legion post that I saw there. Uh, I may check into it. See, there's uh, something to be said about being amongst 
people of like kind and like thinking. That's why I'm kind of looking at various American legions as a place to go for, for events to be part of. It's kind of like being adrift when you don't have a place like that. As a pastor, I've been adrift because uh, although there are Lutherans in the town where I live, they aren't my kind of Lutherans. And being a pastor and knowing theologically the error of many of my so-called brothers and sisters in the faith within the Lutheran denomination, I find the differences are, are severe enough that uh, I'm not going to be comfortable, comfortable in their midst. So, got some choices, some difficult choices to make. And these are some of the things I'm thinking about on this dreary, damp, dismal day. The Lord is with me. Thanks be to God. Those who are looking for answers beyond what we've covered here about baptism, an answer, for example, for the uh, quiz in the beginning of this video, let me give it to you now. Uh, you see the correct answer to that question. Which automobile is noted for its use of a uh, wooden axle? It was the uh, 1906 brush. Now, many of you have never heard of the brush, but the 1906 brush had a two-seat runabout that used that novel suspension system with a hickory wooden axle. Hickory being an extremely strong uh, type of wood. It had a wooden axle, coil springs, and oh, a basic and rudimentary shock absorber. The car also had a brake pedal that released the clutch when depressed and engaged it when the brake was released, so the two worked in coordination. The car was often referred to humorously as the car that had the wooden axle, wooden springs, and it wouldn't go. So uh, that's the answer to uh, your uh, quiz today, and uh, tune in next week for another.